Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Judge, I have enjoyed listening to you today. Um, I find you to be very intelligent and very articulate. I'm still a little uncertain about how you, how you think, how you approach cases, deciding cases, and we'll talk about that in a moment. I'm not going to ask you, nor should I, how would you, you would decide a case. And I'm not going to ask you, nor should I, to tell me whether you think a particular precedent is a good precedent or not. So, but I am going to talk to you about the law. But first, um, you don't support efforts to delegitimize the United States Supreme Court, do you? Senator, I have nothing but esteem for the United States Supreme Court, for my hopefully future colleagues on the court, and the work that the court does. Can we agree that the, uh, the calls to pack the court delegitimize the court? Senator, it would not be appropriate for me, in my view, to comment on calls to pack the court, as you say, to increase the number, to do um, any structural changes. Those are policy determinations for Congress. Uh, what the consequences of those are, are policy considerations for Congress. I'm just looking forward to um, working with the brilliant people who are there at whatever size Congress decides if I'm confirmed. Well, the calls to pack the court don't legitimize the court, do they? Well, Senator, I, I think that would be for you to decide. I'm asking your opinion. Respectfully, Senator, I'm not in a position to give my opinion on uh, issues that are policy issues concerning the court and not something that a judge would have to consider or sh should consider, in, in my view. Yeah, but you're, you're a citizen. Oh, I am. And, and uh, <laughs> as best I can tell, a very good one. I don't understand why you you won't weigh in on this issue. Tell me why you won't weigh in on this issue. Senator, I feel so strongly about ensuring that judges remain out of political debates. And this is something that is being debated. It is something that other nominees, Justice Barrett was asked about the same sort of thing and also declined to give her opinion. And I think that was the right way to handle this particular issue. So you think Judge Barrett was right to dodge the question? I think that each judge has to make a determination when asked about whether they would like to speak to uh, issues, and I know that I'm not comfortable, um, in part because I'm so committed to making sure that there's confidence in me in terms of public confidence and my ability to um, stay in my lane, my ability to not um, speak to contentious political issues. You have an opinion, though, don't you? Senator, any opinion that I would have is not um, something that would ever come up in, a, in my work as a judge, something that I would ever rely on. This is a political issue for Congress. Um, but do, do you have an opinion, Judge? Not a strongly held opinion, actually. But you have an opinion. I haven't really thought about it, but I hear the arguments on both sides, and I understand it to be a political issue. Now, Judge, you're, you're very intelligent, and you're very articulate, and I know you're very well informed. 
You're telling me you don't have an opinion about packing the United States Supreme Court. Senator, I have opinions about a lot of things. Um, I don't have an opinion um, that I think it appropriate to share. I work very hard to set aside my opinions when I'm thinking about cases, which is the work of a judge. And so um, this particular issue is one that is very contentious, as you say, Mm -hmm. one that's in the province of Congress and one that I think it's not appropriate for me to comment on. I understand that. But, But I think it would tell us a lot about you if you would answer the question. I'm a little confused about what your, your answer earlier. It's probably more my fault than yours. Do you have an opinion about whether these efforts to pack the United States Supreme Court delegitimize the court? Do you have an opinion? Senator, I have an opinion about the efforts. <laughs> it's not an opinion that I think um, is appropriate for me to share. And so, therefore, um, I don't have anything further to add. So you you do have an opinion, but you don't want to share. Is that- I don't think it's appropriate for me as a nominee to comment on a political matter that is in the province of Congress. Well, in deciding to join the United States Supreme Court, if you're affirmed, Wouldn't it make a difference to you whether you're one of nine or one of 28? Would it make a difference? That impacts the judiciary? That involves the judiciary? Senator, it certainly involves the judiciary. I would be thrilled to be one of however many Congress thought it appropriate to put on the court. Okay. So you'd be okay if it was 28? If that's Congress's determination, yes, the Congress makes political decisions like that. Okay. 